Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. ones, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA! Dynamite! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena, they build up to the fight to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. On that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Big punch land. Boom. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big kick land. Oh, big left hook there. It was a good night if that landed. Just over three minutes to go. Uh. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back down. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Single collar tie now. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> and he landed the right hand there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Nice punch man over the top. Mixes it up nicely. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it, to go and end the fight. Oh, a huge block there. A big head kick. And they separate. Leg kick. 
big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Lands with the right hand. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, here we go with round two. No good. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Boy, Ty Plump. Get right here. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.